So one of the tactics that Cesar Chavez was most well known for was the, um, the hunger fast. The hunger fast is one of the more misunderstood elements uh, in his uh, arsenal of, of, of nonviolent weapons. Uh, there's the tradition of hunger striking, which many people know about, in which you uh, will threaten to withhold food from yourself and, and liquids in some cases until something, uh, some kind of institutional change is made around you. That is, Chavez always emphasized that what he was engaging in was not a hunger strike. That is, he was not attaching any kinds of demands to his, uh, his fasting. What these were were acts of penance, he always said. So the first one happened in uh, 1968. Uh, farm workers had been engaged in a multi-year uh, strike in the uh, grape industry, and it was very, very difficult. There had been many people who had been striking for years. Uh, it didn't seem that the agribusiness uh, in California was going to uh, cave in or work uh, and negotiate with the farm workers. It was a very difficult time for the farm workers. Uh, the, the union to try to decide what they should move forward with. And so he meditated for a while on this and came out and he said, what I think I need to do is I need to have a fast. And the fast is to recognize uh, that we have been thinking about violence and that there is violence all around us. Uh, this is a space of pulling back from the struggle to think about what kind of world do we want to create. And his view was that, yes, if we use property damage and destruction, it might bring about a, a quicker resolution to the strike. Uh, it might threaten and scare some of the workers to come to the table quicker. But what would be the kind of agreement, what would be the kind of outcome that would come from an agreement in which the, the parties were talking to each other under, under uh, duress or under threat? Cesar Chavez said, I am coming to uh, the, this fast not so that uh, uh, the growers will be intimidated by my dying uh, to come to the table, but this is more for us as the farm workers so that we can have a space of, me of uh, meditation and think about what we want to accomplish. Um, I think the third uh, 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 fast is really powerful. I think this was in about 88 or 89. Cesar Chavez uh, uh, started to find out about the extent about the health damage that pesticides could cause in the environment. And he decided, he said, to call, uh, to call for the fast because he said, the fast is about suffering, suffering for others. I want to create a spectacle about suffering. I want people to see me suffering, uh, and I want people to see other people suffering. And the idea was to extend this into a great chain of suffering. And so these were important tactics to be able to show uh, people who might not normally see it the hidden pockets of pain and suffering that go on in our society as a result of structural violence.